Hi there, this is Underwear Guy, and today I'm taking a look at the Under Armour Mesh Boxer Jock. They call it a boxer jock, which is kind of a made-up term because really this is a boxer brief, but I think they're just trying to make it more appealing to some guys who want that athletic sounding name in their underwear. This is the 6 inch version. There are different rises, so there's also a 3 inch, more of a trunk. This one comes in a really nice display box. So it's a, it's a really fairly heavyweight cardboard with a window die cut that allows you to see the underwear inside and see all the colors. Th something that I think is really cool is that Under Armour is now making a lot of their underwear in some more bold, bright colors. I saw this very bright kind of safety green yellow and thought that would be fun to take a look at but I've also seen some other bright colors as well so it's very eye-catching the packaging is again very high quality you get all the different kind of performance features listed out on the back in multiple languages as you can see I got this at Macy's where they have a lot of Under Armour um, garments for sale this was $21.98 so it's a pretty decent price considering this is a full boxer boxer brief and uh, the other cool element is a easy to open magnetic seal top on the box which again you can tell they've put a lot of effort and care into designing the packaging for this underwear coming to look at the actual boxer brief we have the really bold and strong Under Armour logo woven along this fairly nice waistband. Uh, it's a really nice touch with the soft microfiber on the inside. It's a little bit uh, kind of brushed feeling so it's very smooth and soft. The seam in the back is not too bad. It's a little more uh, pronounced than I've seen on some other underwear. I can show it up close here but it's not bad. And then you can see there's a little bit of a paper tag which seems kind of erroneous. I'm not sure why this is here because it's just style information. It's not actually required that they include this. So that feels like an odd thing that I'm not sure why that's there. I mean I'm sure they have reasons but it doesn't need to be there as far as I know. They've printed the information for the size and the care and the content of the fabric. So that's great because you really don't need this to be a separate tag on something that's performance oriented. I will note that the construction is good. It's not flawless, meaning you can see there's there's not the cleanest cut on the fabric at the edge. This is pretty typical though. It's only on super precise underwear that's super high end where you're going to get absolutely perfect seams. But this is relatively good. I mean, it's up there. It's definitely one of the better constructed boxer briefs I've seen. The overall fit is probably where I'm going to really knock this one down because it's called a six inch boxer brief but you'll notice if I pull this all the way up that of the six inches um, on the leg you you have you know where they're measuring it from I'm not sure if that's coming probably from the leg band up but I, I could be wrong and they're saying it's six inches from the waistband to the uh, crotch seam but I, I don't think so whatever the case it's it's not something that works for me the overall fit of underwear is highly variable because it really depends on the body type and what the designer was thinking for what type of body they were going to cut the fabric and make the pattern. This is obviously Under Armour so it's generally meant more for a bigger guy build usually more muscular and for me I'm more of an average guy or a slim kind of runner because I do run 100 miles a month and this doesn't fit very well at all. I think if you're not a really big dude this is just going to be kind of disastrous because the rise along here is so high that it just ends up looking like a joke when you're wearing it. I mean it's really hilarious. I know some of you are saying wow I'm being really critical and I'm not in the sense that if you're the kind of person that has a body type where this works I think this is actually a really nice brief but I think if you're more of a, a, a slimmer or kind of athletic but not super built athletic person this just doesn't seem to work I think they really should have if they if I kind of when I wore it I tried folding the waistband down and it seemed to be more reasonable about basically two folds down so you're really talking about eliminating almost three inches of fabric or at least two 
in order to make the rise feel a little bit more normal. The pouch design is not bad. It does give you some room. It's clearly not fashion underwear, so I wouldn't say it provides a great deal of enhancement or lift. It's functional, and I think that's fine. I don't think this should be judged as a as obviously a, a fashion item that's supposed to accentuate your curves in any way, either the front or the back. So, you know, different grad grading criteria depending on the use case. I will say, though, that the pouch could be shaped differently. If you can actually kind of see, it sort of tapers rather narrowly down here when in a way it should be a little bit wider to get a, a kind of more roomy fit. And so you end up feeling like the pouch actually should come a little bit wider down at the base than it does. And so, I don't know, it just didn't necessarily feel as good as I think it could have. The fabric itself is really nice. It has a, a mesh finish, so it allows for a lot of breathability and a certain amount of transparency, but luckily because the pouch is dual layer, you're not going to have to worry about modesty. You definitely are, are not trying to show off in this kind of underwear. And it has a decent amount of stretch. It's not quite as stretchy in the horizontal direction as it is in the vertical, but it's definitely comfortable. I'd say overall, minus the rise of this boxer brief, the waistband fit of medium is just about right. It's, it's pretty much true to size. So uh, the only other thing I guess I can show is you can see the turned over um, leg band here. There's no elastic down here, so I don't know if that might just start to get loose and actually affect the, the, the legs riding up, which is quite possible. Generally, you do want some sort of tension at the leg band to help keep things in place. So I'm, I haven't worn these in a real performance scenario, but I could say that might be a, a concern point. So I know that there are a lot of Under Armour fans out there, and I, again, I totally can understand why the this might be your favorite brand, and I definitely think if you like it and it's working for you, that's awesome. For a lot of other guys, I think there's so many other options for performance underwear that fit a lot better for those of us who are not kind of the big football build. And even if you are, I still feel like there's something about this rise that's kind of funky and um, really, again, needs to be rethought of with just a little bit of a change. Simply cutting this down an inch or two would make the whole thing a different story. I probably would have almost no real negative things to say about this uh, particular box of brief. So for now, you've heard my opinion, and I'm more than happy to hear yours. Uh, until next time, this is Underwear Guy, signing off.